All right, recording should be good. Everything should be good. New game. Let's hop in. So far, Shumi is lost in the forest and needs to find their way home. Some locals mentioned a tunnel that could be the way out. Uh, these are keyboard controls. I'm using a controller. So, move, jump, glide, mycology journal slash inventory. Sprint if unlocked, move camera. Okay. Xbox uh, One controls using a controller is recommended. Move player, mycology journal, UI back, jump, glide. Okay. So, skins. Okay, wait, it says this is where the mycology journal is, but I can't actually see anything yet, it looks like. Yeah. There's nothing actually in the mycology journal yet, but Mycena entry. Well, this is cool. We're gonna immediately get to hop into this now. Also wholesome. And also gliding! <laughs> okay, this is very similar to what we just played. And I'm down. What are you? What? Your little pick is a... Oh my god, is that a... Is that a... What, are, what, is, what are those things called? The little wrenches that you get when you're, like, putting things together. Allen wrench? Your your pickaxe is an Allen wrench? Hello. What's this? <sighs> what a shame. Um... Is everything okay? I'm afraid not. Looks like this is the only restored shrine now. What are the shrines for? Oh. You must not be from around here. These shrines bring us good luck. It's said that if the right flower is placed in the center, the forest will grant you luck and good fortune. Wow. How nice of the forest. Yes, very nice indeed. But if only the others were restored. Oh, well. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for them. Very kind of you, little mushroom. Mycena is a genus of mushrooms. Yeah, I knew about that. I don't know a lot of mushrooms, but Mycena, I can definitely see. Also, the name just... You know, it sounds like a scientific name. So we can't double jump in this. Oh, but I... Wow. And we have fishing hooks, too. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we have fishing hooks to help us climb. What is this? Is this just a stick? I think that's just a stick. Uh, bottle? Get up here. Okay, here's more of this stuff. Mine with my Allen wrench. Okay, so we got a potted thing over there. Ooh, we got little lanterns over there. Jump, jump, jump. This immediately makes me think of like Animal Crossing and Pikmin. What with the characters' voices, but also... Just, I don't know, Pikmin. I found a tool of writing. Ooh, pointy. It makes me feel academic. Can I, can I, can I use my journal now? No? No journal? Still no journal. Makes me feel academic. My computer, my, like a, a laptop specifically, makes me feel more academic than anything these days, because I didn't really write much when I was in school. Not like that, at least. What are these little things used for? Huh. Okay, oh, there's the flower I need. I can restore the uh, shrine, as they mentioned before. I did it! What do I get? I get a... A briar? Spore of energy. Oh, I feel strong energy from within. Also, it's sticky. So this is- this ups my energy meter. Yes? Okay, we have more energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, bouncy flowers! Okay, so the mushrooms aren't bouncy in this, it's the flowers that are bouncy. Alright, yeah, my stamina is a little bit higher, I believe. I was expected to be able to, like, kind of climb with these things. They're effectively like little ice picks. Okay, so let's go talk to you. What exactly are you? You are a snail. You're a very crazy looking snail. Uh, oh my. Another mushroom species. Uh, yes. It is I. And what species are you? The Shumi species, I guess. Shumi species. This is a new one for me. I must record my findings. But alas, I can't do anything without a new writing tool. What do you mean? Well, I'm a mycologist, you see. And I record my research of mushrooms in my journal. Okay, so I'm not the mycologist. You're the mycologist. I'm unable to record any data. How come? My writing tool has withered away, it seems. Oh yeah, it's just a little nub. I see it down there. 
Well, actually, I found this earlier. It seemed important, so I picked it up. You can have it, though. Holy mushroom! You saved me, little Shumi. With this, I can continue my research. And as my thanks, I'll share this with you. Behold! The Mycology Journal! The who what? Listen carefully, Shumi. Every time you come into contact with a new mushroom, a new entry will appear in your journal. And you can read each entry to learn about that mushroom! Sounds pretty neat. Never been able to learn more about my kind. There's much to discover, little Shumi. So go out there and learn about your amazing species! New mushroom discovered. <clears throat> um... Wait. The journal was... Why, right? Um... Let's see here. Oh wait, oh wait, it says RT on this. There we go. So what we got? Mycena hematopus. About this mushroom. Although there are several pinkest Mycena species, this one is rather special. If the flesh is cut, a dark red blood exudes out. Thus giving the mushroom the nickname Bleeding Mycena, Shumi notes. These things ooze out red liquid when cut. I'm fascinated and terrified at the same time. This reminds me of Olimar's, um... <clears throat> Olimar and like Louise journals about the various flora and fauna of uh, PNF. Oh no, they messed up the scientific name, did they? Oh no. Vol Vulvaplutius glocephalus. Vulvaplutius glocephalus. My, yeah, I'm not good at the Latin. About this mushroom. This large mushroom is commonly known as the big sheath mushroom with the cap of about 5 to 15 centimeters in diameter. Top of the mushroom's cap is markedly sticky when fresh, so touch with care. Shumi notes, I tried saying the name of this mushroom quickly three times in a row, it was a lot tougher than I thought. Cool mushroom, though. That second word should never be capitalized? Huh. So, the hematopus? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that um, capitalized before. It's always, it's always lowercase. Well, hello. Uh, let's see here. There's more stuff over there for me. Looks like I can mine some more. It's like the most embarrassing thing you can accidentally do in biological spaces. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Bang. Give me. More stuff. I still don't know what this stuff is, but it exists and I want it. Alright. Well, climb. There's some blue stuff up there. Jumpy. More stuff? More stuff. Okay, we got some greens, but we also have some blues. Still don't know what I'm really doing with this... stuff. There we are. Yeah, we got four blues now. I have not gotten a lot of blues. So that's probably a good get. Uh, alright, let's jump here? Nope, that's not gonna get me. It's the kind of thing we find out about- I find in books and giggle about. Maybe I should tell the makers of this game. Let's see. How do I get to you? Yeah, it might just be something they don't know. I don't know how involved the character is actually with mycology, so... And jump. And jump. We're good. <gasps> It's you! It's Riley! Well, not, well, not, well, not my Riley, but... Hello! Uh, hi! I'm really lost. No way. So am I. Wow. Two mushrooms? Lost in the forest? This is a crazy coincidence. Yep. Trying to find my way back home, actually. Y you're home? I wish I could tell you the way, but I don't really know my way around here. And I've been extra lost since I replaced- since I misplaced my mail glider. Mail... glider? Yeah. It helps me get around quicker. Plus, I need to deliver it to someone, but don't tell them I'm using it as a glider. You're, you're gliding around with someone's mail? Anyways. I lost it, so now I'm really stuck. Well, if I come across it, I'll bring it back to you. That would be amazing! Thank you, little mushroom. No problem, little mushroom. Okay, if I come across your glider, I will return it to you. Alright, there we go. There's more green over here. Do I need more green? I guess I can grab more green. Need more green with my Allen wrench. There we go. 
All right, so down we go. That's a bouncy. That's a tin can. There's more green. Oh, these things make a hilarious noise. These are the ones you cut, and uh, yeah. Have I found any more? Well, it would give me a notification if I did. So yeah, those are new mushrooms. What are these that are hanging out on the side of the tree? Hi. Worm? Oh god, do you have cordyceps? Oh, I think you're infected with cordyceps. Um, hello? <laughs> hey, seen any purple crystals around here? Well, I... Because if you have, you bring them to me. What? Why? I know how to use them, that's why. They're special, don't you know? I... I don't know. And listen carefully. You bring me some of those purple crystals, and an augmenter to go with it, and I can give you a new mushroom look. Oh. Well, that sounds cool. How are the crystals is cool? Uh... Right. Ahem. Take a look at my offers. 12 purple crystals. Okay, so I need augmenters. Well, those sound good. Come back with more purple crystals. <laughs> okay, bye. You're a little bit creepy. So can I interact with those? Yay, new mushroom discovered. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So, uh, let's look at our new mushroom, why don't we? Um... Hyphaloma capnoids. Capnoidus? I... Mm, mm, yep, not even gonna try. Just gonna embarrass myself. This species grows in clusters on decaying wood and is easily spotted with its cinnamon to orange caps. It's typically a fall or winter mushroom, but can be encountered in spring as well. These are always growing in groups. I wonder if they ever get tired of each other. Like, what happens if they get in a fight? They just have to stare at each other and get over it? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, what does this do? Because flowers are usually bouncy? Nope, didn't take me anywhere. Okay, what are you? What? Okay, we're gonna ignore that for a second. I see an entry, myrtle poles, and then mini woods, and a bullet beach. Capnoides. That's how you say it. I guess that's- I guess that should be- that, that's to be expected. That sounds very Latin. Okay, so, yeah, let's just go back down here, why don't we? Make sure- we did get everything from over here. Yeah, I talked to you. And got that stuff, so we just have to talk to you. And... you? Hmm, looks like a berry should go here. Hello, little gecko. Excuse me. Church of Latin is pronounce all the letters. Huh. Never knew that. Yes. Oh, um, can you please move? Food? Food? Um, no food here, but you're kind of in the way. Then no. Okay. I need a berry to put there. What's up? Uh, hello. Is this tunnel the way forward? To the other side of the forest? Yep. Just can't get through. Well, why not? Because there's a big old fella in there taking a big old nap. But I've got to pass through there. I'm really lost. And I'm just trying to get back home. Have you tried work waking it up? Kinda. Tried asking it to move earlier. But it just responded with food or leave. Not trying to get eaten today. So I peaced out. So then. Just a little hungry? Yep. And grumpy. Maybe we can lure it out with some food then. Worth a shot. Saw a blueberry around here earlier. This big fellow would like that. Oh, where is it? I think it's someone is hoarding one over by Myrtle Pools. It's a pretty chill spot. Okay. Myrtle Pools, you said? Yep. Just follow the path up this hill. They'll probably want to trade those green crystals for it. Everyone is obsessed with those lately. Okay. Thanks for the help. Yep. Alrighty. Well, there's something else to do. I gotta grab myself some water here because uh, it's been a minute. Oh my god, that was needed. That was very, very much needed. Ho ho ho. We were not hydrated. It was probably turning my brain to mush. <clears throat> Alright, so. More green doohickeys. Ooh, and some purple over there. Up, oh, up! Oh, here come the hydrates. Here come the hydrates. All right, gondola. Yes, I will. I will drown myself. Let me grab this blue or purple, 
And we will drown ourselves. Not hydrated, you say? Yes, now I will be hydrated. Let's take another big swig. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yes. There we go. I didn't drown myself. Probably got a little close, though. Alrighty, so... Whoop. Camera, don't go through there, please. But thank you, Gondola. For keeping me hydrated. Let's see here. Um... Ooh, it's a lighter. It is a lighter. Hello, lighter. Can't get you out. Nope. There's those, uh, white mushrooms I saw earlier. Okay, yeah, and here's over here. here this is the place of the blue area, and I need a yellow flower to put there. <laughs> and before redeeming, like, ten stretches. Yes, I will pull my limbs off. New mushroom discovered. Wait, really? These? I thought I already discovered these. Huh? Oh, these are different. Enosybe Lang... Lang... Lanu Genosa. Lanu Genosa. It's not stretching though, that's ripping. Well, I'm stretching them so hard that they're coming off. Enosybe is a large genus of mushroom forming fungi with over 1400 species. This makes identification very difficult based on macroscopic characteristics. Like most Enosybes, this mushroom is not considered edible as they contain toxins. Wow, there's so many different Enosybes. Wait a sec, is this even the right one? <clears throat> cool. More mycology journal details. Green. 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 Okay, and we can go up here. Let's see, nothing really interesting happening in here. Uh, yeah, okay, I still need yellow flower, still need green flower. Where are these things at? There's another light. Aha! Gotcha. You come here. You sit in the shrine. Ha 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 ha! All I can think of is the Koroks. Feel a strong energy from within. It's also sticky. Beautiful. Um. What's going on with these spores? Wah! What was that? Hey, wait a sec. My legs feel stronger. You've been empowered by the spores of energy. These spores give you the strength to perform a brief super sprint. Hold R2 to start sprinting. Collect more spores to increase your stamina amount and recharge. Super sprint! It's also sticky. We had Korok poop and now we have something questionable. Yes, good old Korok poop. Imagine all the people that worked so hard to get all the Koroks and then were just rewarded with a giant piece of Kor golden Korok shit. We're not very happy. Here's your letter. Someone lose their mail? Yes, they did. Okay, so we just gotta get back to, uh, gotta get back to Riley over there. Riley, I'm on my way. Whoop. Okay, so now over here. And then over here. Where you at, Riley? You were up there? Yeah, gotta jump on the, uh, lanterns here. Hello. <clears throat> Think I found your mail. No way. R really Damn right. This is it. Phew. Looks like you can get back to delivering it now. I I would have been in so much trouble without your help. Thank you so much. Yeah, Janet would have been pissed. Us fellow mushrooms have to stick together. Exactly. If you're ever in Grumblewood and need help, I'll be there to return the favor. Thanks for finding the Scout's Glider from the upcoming game, Mail Time. This is a little collaboration with Mail Time's creator, Kella, to bring two cozy mushroom games together, and we hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, join the server. I will maybe do that later. Let's see. Enter Discord? No thanks, for now. I think in one of the category games, if you collect everything, the king chimes in saying something to the effect of, you really got a lot of time on your hands, do you? Of course the king would say that. <clears throat> of course the king would say that. They need to make a new Katamari, damn it. I can't sit around and play, uh, Katamari forever. Forever. Uh, so wait. Oh god, I got flipped turned upside down. So wait, wait, that, okay, yeah, never mind. Now I remember where we're at. 
But yeah, I want a new Katamari game, damn it. I wish I had a PS3 to play forever. Yeah. Or no, no, no. No, wait, what's the, what's the Switch one? That's the one I was talking about. Katamari Forever is a different one. Underground Remake had one. Rerolled. That's the Switch one that I played, which is just a remake of Damacy, so... Katamari is such a good series. Okay, time to head off to walk the dogs before they go crazy and explode from too much energy. Thank you so much for doing this. It's delightful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming out. And thanks for uh, always dropping in more science facts and stuff. Hope the doggies have a good walk. And have a good night, day, whatever time it is for you. Okay, we still need we still need a flower from over here. We still need orange flower. Where are you at, orange flower? Orange flower, orange flower. Don't know where you're at. Yeah. Not seeing it around here. We might not be finding the orange flower. Because it's not in any of these, like, pots. That's kind of where I expected it to be. Yeah. Okay. Well. I think... We're not finding that. Okay. No problem. And I'll make sure they get to sniff everything. Yes. The doggos need to sniff everything. They must sniff it all. Okay, there's somebody hanging out over here with a rusty watering can. Should check this out. Uh, hello. Oh, you're the one with the blueberry. Ah, <clears throat> oh, man. What a vibin' day. Yeah, it's really nice out. Hanging by the water with my bluey. So I worked so hard to get. Yes, sir. -y. Doesn't get better than this. Bluey? <clears throat> yeah, man, you know. Blue bee, short for blueberry. A bloopy, like a blue rupee. Oh. Oh, wait. Would you by any chance give me one? I really need it for something. Give my blueby? Man, I love this thing. Don't think I could just give it up. Oh, I understand. But I've been vibing with those green crystals lately. You down for a trade, little mushroom dude? Say, 60 crystals for my berry? Okay. Oh, hold up, man. Looks like you're short of crystals. Come back when you have at least 60. Okay, yeah, I didn't think I had enough, but I thought I would try anyway. Can I swim? I can swim. I am not water soluble. Fantastic. Ooh. What's in here? Oh, you're interesting looking. Hello. Hey, hi, hello. Hi. My senses are tingling. Your senses? Yes, yes. I'm trying to collect these old circular relics. I think they were the currency of a past civilization. Or they were some sort of frisbee. Still researching, of course. Oh. Well, good luck with that. But I'm sensing two more of these relics in this area. I really need them for my research. Where are they? Hmm. I sense they're somewhere higher up. Too high for me to reach. God, why are my arms so short? Oh, take it easy. I can find them for you. Oh. Well, thank you, kind stranger. Don't thank me yet. Let me see if I can get them for you first. How many did you say there are, were again? There should be two more around here, according to my senses. Right, your senses. I'll be back then. Hey, did you ever play the tabletop game in Splatoon? I have not. I have not played Turf War at all. In fact, I haven't really played Splatoon much since I finished the LP for it. Um, once I get a capture card up here, um, I might play a little bit of Splatoon sometimes, and that would be a good time to play, uh... <clears throat> um... Or, I... I would play Splatoon sometimes, and that'd be a good time to play tabletop. Because it seemed really, really fun. And I would like to play it. It's also a good opportunity to do, um... The, um... Unique monsters that I didn't finish in, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So we might need to do that at some point as well. Okay, so we lowered this, uh, little gas canister... ...down here. Or oil. What have you. Okay, what's over here? There's a flower to bounce on. Bouncy! Oop, there is one. You found an ancient relic! Is it worth anything? Eh, who knows. Probably a dime, it looks very tiny. Very, very small. Uh... So over here, we gotta jump... Here, and then here. 
And smack you. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful. And now, over here, and then we jump off of you, and I should be good? Yeah. Just worth anything? Eh, who knows. Beautiful. And here you are. Convinced these are frisbees. Oh. Did you find both relics yet? Yep. Here they are. Ah, such fine specimens. Starting to rethink my frisbee hypothesis now. Thank you so much for the help. No problem. Got about 20 of these green crystals on me. Please take some with you. It's the least I can do. Ooh, that's enough now. Oh, thanks. Now then, time to analyze these relics. Okay, so now I have enough to get the, uh, get the thingy so I can get out of here. Still a little bit more to explore, but you are right here, so I should go ahead and just grab the blueberry while you're right in front of me. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey. Back for a berry trade? Okay. Sweet. One blue bee coming right up. It's pretty bright to me, but it tastes good. Farewell, my sweet blue bee. And hello, shiny crystal. Alright. Cool, cool. So now, where are we going? Boing, boing, boing. Boing. Here's more green stuff. We never did find the orange flower. Is there anything interesting in here? A few things. Uh. Okay, we're good. Beautiful. And this goes all the way down here. Weird. Okay, I just fell really far. And can't go through here, yeah. Alright, so I guess we're just going back and going over there. I don't know where that, uh... Orange flower is. So I unfortunately can't do... Anything about that. So I guess we just feed the gecko now and then we're good. Still trying to keep an eye out for this thing, but yeah, I'm not seeing it. Sorry, orange little shrine area. I wanted to restore you, but I am too much of a dumb. Alright, so down here to the gecko. Hello, friend. There you are. Eat up. Are you gonna munch? Good. That was delicious. Bring me another. W wait! Are you serious? Yes. But, can you please just move out of the way now? No. Bring food. Fine. And that's it for the demo! Thanks for playing! If you enjoyed the demo, please wishlist Shoe Me Come Home on Steam. It helps out tremendously. If you across any bugs, which I did not, or you'd like to report feedback, please report it to the Discord server. Hope you enjoyed the first half of level 1. Feel free to keep exploring if you like. There's one Shumi skin to find and five different mushrooms to discover in the demo. So I have four mushrooms and I can't find the augmenter to get the skin. So I also don't know where that uh where that where that orange flower is, but this looks like a good spot to stop with this one for now. This was also very, very fun. Glad um Mail Time showed me this game. So yeah. Alright, let's move on to the next one.